my topic today is generalized fraction order calculators. Actually, generalized fraction order calculators is really a hard topic for everybody. And today, I have only a, a little more than 30 slides today, so I call it a very brief introduction of generalized fraction order calculators. So there are many four parts of this presentation. The first one is kernel functions and the generalized fraction order calculators, which is short for GFC. And then the second part is about the fraction order integral transforms. You know, in classical fraction order calculators, all the derivatives and the integrals comes from the Riemann Liouville fraction order integral. And then as I said here, kernel functions. Capital G function is a kind of kernel function here. And so we need also to introduce G transform. And then further discussions and conclusion. So maybe maybe the whole thing is not very continuous, but I think the theorems, the conclusions are very interesting. So here is a definition of classical fraction order Riemann Liouville integral. Here delta delta here is a has a positive real part. And then here you can see here x uh, over delta minus one is a kernel function used here. And the fraction order integral here is defined by the convolution of this parallel function and the, the function f, f x here. So this is a classical definition of fraction order integral. Okay. So for the still the classical fraction order derivatives, uh, the fraction order derivatives are the combinations of different sequences of fraction order integrals and the integer or the derivatives. So that's a basic idea. What will be happening in generalized fraction or the calculators? There is only one thing we have to do, we need to do, that is we change the kernel. So let's say the EK operator defined here. I here mean is a is the initial is the initial of in integral. So the integral of fx in this form is defined like this. Here you can see the kernel parallel function is replaced by another kernel function. For the pro and it's still a kind of convolution here. The properties we'll discuss later. Okay. This is the first option. We have still, we still have mm, a number of other options like this. You can see, you can see that from parallel function to a more complicated parallel function, and then to a more complicated function, which is called the Gauss hyper hypergeometric function which is expressed in this way and still a kind of convolution here and then the integral of fx is defined in equation 3 which is called the hypergeometric fractional integration so this kernel the hypergeometric function is a special function this kernel is very very hard but there are more interesting things that is a basic how to Bessel 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 okay Bessel type, type fraction order operator which is defined as equation 4 you can see here the Bessel function is here and some parallels here so you can see it the kernel we used a uh, parallel kernel we use a complicated parallel kernel, we use the hypergeometric function and the Bessel function. Um, is there an end to stop the 
complex form of the kernel. Yes, that there is a. E and Lee. Yeah. Why are you making them complex? Complex. Why are you going to complex the things? Uh, not complex. complex. I, no, no. I mean complicated. complicated. Yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah. Why do you need a complicated definition? Uh, yeah. You know, sometimes not everything is exponential, and yeah. not everything is parallel. Okay. Maybe that's the reason. It's a good question and it's really hard. Actually, I cannot I cannot I cannot answer that question exactly. So, as I said, it's interesting in mathematics. Oh. Uh, was that yeah. the uh, existence ranges for these integers? Yeah, it's a good so question. Yes, do. yes. Actually, I omitted that part. Yeah, they are. Actually, I will mention later, all the parameters here should be well defined, or else uh, this equation doesn't hold anymore. So, yeah, 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 it's true, it's true. So, the, end, the, the final answer of this question, so the kernel function, is there an end of the kernel function? So, yes, the, the answer here is, uh, capital G function or capital H function. So capital H function actually is, uh, is, is called Fox H function and the G here is major G function. Here, this is a generalized integral of, of generalized fractional order calculus. The kernel here, uh, phi, is that? Yeah, the kernel capital phi here is either the major G, G function or Fox H function. That's a definition. You can see here, compared with classical fractional order calculus, especially the Riemann-Liouville fractional order integral, the only difference here is the kernel is changed to this new one. And this kernel is a major G or Fox H function, which is a special function. Here is a short introduction of Fox H function. You can see it. This is the integral definition of H and then PQ. This L is defining complex plan and the parameters are defined here. You can see it. It's really... <laughs> it's really... Okay. The point here is the point here is major G function is a special case of Fox H function. And here, if the these two groups of parameters here uh, are equal to one, then the Fox H function is equivalent to the major G function. But here we divided the whole part, the whole kernel function groups to two types. One is major G function and the rest of them are Fox H functions because major G function is relatively easier. Here, you remember the single index? Yes? The single index definition of uh, this generalized fraction or the operator in this form. So we have by using the major G function, we have a generalized multi-EK operator, which is showing equation now here. The kernel here is a major G function, and the, the, and the inside of the integral, here is F tau, and the, and the, the end of part is not the D tau, it's D tau beta. So, well, the f well, when I read this paper, my question is about what is the major G function looks like, especially all those f three parameters here are, are equal to M, and then the first part here, the second part here is zero. So, 